Hello and welcome to a sketchbook tour. I'm Samya, your host, and if you're new here, I'm an artist that teaches you everything I know about art from my 10 years of experience, from paints to different media to how to self-publish, anything you want to know. So today we're going to look at this sketchbook, and this is a Stillman & Burn Delta Series sketchbook. It has really thick paper that is perfect for watercolor and gouache, which is a lot of what's in here. So we're gonna check it out right now. And a disclaimer, I finished this last year and just never recorded this sketchbook tour. All right, so just bear with me on how old this work is. So I started this sketchbook in May of 2019. That was what feels like a lifetime ago. At this point, I was in the middle of finishing my degree. I was doing an MFA in comics. I was working on a comic. I was working on a lot of other kinds of art. And I was just trying to figure out what I liked and kind of going back to acquiring technical skill, especially with painting. So I experimented with a lot of different gouaches and watercolors. And you can see in this first spread that I swatched my new gouaches and just wanted to figure out how they would fade out and how they would really work. And if you've watched other videos on my channel, you know that I now use gouache a lot. So this is a sneak peek at the very, very early days of me using it when I was not good at it, as you're going to see. So starting off, I was doing some sketches, just some observations. This paper is really nice to do pencil drawings on. There's something really soft about it and it just feels really good under your hand. Here is a painting of Kyo. And at the time I had gotten a test like a dot test painting pack with all these beautiful paints in it. So I used those test dots to be able to paint this. And there were some great oranges. And then I used some washi tape in the background and cut it out to sort of frame him a little bit. I really like this one still. I think it's one of the better ones that's in this sketchbook. I loved the new Fruits Baskets anime. Did you guys see it? Are there any Fruits Baskets friends here? Because it was awesome. So of course, after doing Cat Boy, I had to do Rat Boy, Yuki, and there were some nice silvers and lavenders in that kit, so I definitely used some of those for this. I also just wanted to practice like a more manga style of drawing. I haven't done manga style things in a very long time at this point, and it was really nice to sort of get back to the things that I love. Again, using washi tape and just sort of, yeah, experimenting with some of the light and some of the washes. It's very patchy though, because these were test dots, so there wasn't a lot of paint. So as you can see, I am not super precious about filling out every single page. I don't know what was happening here. I was just tired of it. And I did this random Catwoman and the whatever ink I used just like smudged on the other side. So I kind of gave up on it. This is not my proudest moment. <laughs> this is Haru from Fruits Basket, and I don't know what happened to his face. I could see how I could fix it now if I was doing it over, obviously, because I do better than this now. Um, I liked the shading. I liked how flat the colors came out. It just didn't quite work out. Here's my failed attempt at doing a landscape. Um, there was a drawing of something that I kind of ended up hating so I just took it out. It's really rare for me to do that but this was a case where I just I couldn't look at it anymore. Some more portraits, experimenting with like interesting colors and interesting light and shadow. I really still want to get a better handle on light and shadow and this is me kind of working through some of it. Now I'm starting to understand gouache at this point, as you can see. Rin turned out a lot better. Again, this is a character from Fruits Basket. And I loved the flatness of the skin tones, of the hair, of the color. I just think gouache is just so beautiful and so bold and poster-like. There's something very graphic about it when you use it in this way, and I just loved that. I tried to do Momiji, but never finished him. But really liked trying this out. He had an interesting outfit. It gave me a chance to, again, test out the gouache, which is the only point of the sketchbook. I did just want to keep testing things in it, 
and I wasn't so interested in having a lot of finished perfect pieces I could post. I just wanted to learn. I was in San Francisco at this point, so I took pictures of some of the beautiful landscapes up there. I had walked to the top of a hill when I took this picture that became this painting. Never really finished all the buildings down there, just pretend that I finished it. But getting that atmosphere was what was important to me in this one, and I feel like I captured that. And this is one of my favorites. I don't know why this turned out so good because I normally get too impatient for landscape or architecture drawings. Like, look at those cars! But it just worked out this time. I don't know, I hit my flow state. And I still like this one and I wish I was doing more work like this now. This is reminding me that I could go back to it. So I was really feeling like I was learning more about environments, about line work, about composition. This is a little staircase on down one of the streets because the streets are so steep in San Francisco that you need stairs sometimes. And there was this beautiful overhang of plants and what I wanted to capture in this one was the shifting light and shadow. I was testing out some watercolors, another like dot test pack that I had gotten from a seller on Etsy who makes handmade watercolors. I really liked these, they were very bold and a little more opaque than what I had, so I was just playing around. More random experiments. <laughs> I'd never used a fan brush. I was trying to figure out if I'm ever going to use a fan brush, not sure about it. Trying some winter outfits and then I stopped. I stopped completely in the sketchbook and this was the last drawing that I made before I started up again. It says you miss it, don't you? I missed drawing in my sketchbook so much for the like year or some change that I didn't draw in it at all. And I made a concerted effort to go back to it. I did some studies from this book, The Girl from the Other Side. It's this beautiful little book that is very mysterious, and I really liked this quote, your first idea is your best idea. I often feel that way, that I test out more ideas and then I end up going to the first one anyway. So I really just wanted to, again, practice some background, some environments, and some light and shadow, getting those values right. And then I wrote, all I am is everything I love, because I feel like everything I love is what makes up me. This is my friend's character, Kaya. Um, you can follow her at Sierra Bravo Art. She's a really good comic artist. She's got a lot of fun stuff going on on her page. I really loved her character, so I had to draw it. And then I did some bunnies and some lavender, and this is going to be, I believe, 2021. <laughs> I, I truly stopped in the sketchbook for a year, but I really wanted to finish more sketchbooks that I had. I wanted to do more with colors, more with pencils, so I did it at this point. I did a little bat. I was trying to figure out which animals to do. I wanted to do more animals and more fauna at this point. That was what I was working on. I really like how this bat's wings turned out. This is, again, one of my favorites. There's a lot of bangers in the sketchbook, actually, for being so old. Love this chicken. Absolutely love this chicken. 10 out of 10 would make prints of this chicken, if asked. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. There's some cute chicks. There's a rainbow. What else do you need? Except for socks. Maybe you need a whole page of socks. I was just trying to fill up the sketchbook any way I could think of, and I decided to just be really free with my subject matter. That's where this painting also came from that actually like struck a chord with a lot of people on Instagram. I just love the idea of this girl laying down and dreaming and us seeing some visual representation of what's going on in her mind. I guess what's going on in her mind is fauna and bunnies some cats. I'm not particularly adept at drawing cats, even still, which is weird because I have two of them. So you'd think I would be able to draw them better, but I feel like I'm getting there. 
still experimenting with colors. Now I'm going really bright. After trying all the naturalistic stuff, I'm going super bright. I got this photo reference from someone I follow on either Instagram or TikTok. And then I wanted to do some fun stuff with masks, oxygen masks, you know. We've been in a pandemic, so trying to find some inspiration from it. I kind of like these concepts, but I feel like they can be pushed, so I might do something with those. Practicing some very specific flora and fauna, trying not to just be like, here's a bunch of leaves. And then, Doctor Strange. I went through a period where I wanted to just draw Marvel characters, which is really unusual for me, but here we are. So I did Doctor Strange. I really like Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange. I don't know how anyone else feels about it, but it, it works for me. Here is a raccoon. I believe it was on a roof, but that's not altogether obvious from the values I used. This was a good lesson in if you go too dark with watercolor too fast, you can't go back. I knew that and yet I needed to learn it again. A little possum. You can see from the dates that I'm drawing much more consistently at this point, even if I don't fill out the page, as is the case here. Uh, this was one where I really liked the sketch and then I started painting it and I didn't like how the painting was turning out and I got sad and abandoned it. It's not that bad, I'm realizing now, but I don't know, it was just hurting my feelings at the time. I was looking at Sibylline M when I was practicing this page. She draws things so beautifully and so cleanly that I was just looking at a lot of her art and trying to figure out how to emulate some of that clean line, some of that flatness that she gets with her gouache and watercolor. I think I achieved it. I really like this color palette too. This fox is so cute. I still like this fox and it was kind of fun doing a really skinny painting right next to it. I really love the colors of this page too, this whole like spread. And this is the last page with my axe throwing champion sticker right here. So that's the sketchbook that is progress over a number of years. Let this be a lesson that no matter how long it is when you drop a sketchbook, you can always pick it up and practice with it again. Thank you so much for being here and for coming on the sketchbook tour. If you've liked it, please do like the video and subscribe. I post lots of videos, lots of sketchbook tours, maybe some topical stuff, and lots of studio vlogs as well, where I talk about everything. So until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, friends.